Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger, and welcome to Dare to Dream. I've got a healer here today, and she's going to be imparting some wisdom for us, for our lives, for our bodies, and for what's possible. Her name is Fran Bailey, and she is a gifted dancer, author, extraordinary energy healer, teacher, and guide. Fran's work involves an innovative self-healing technique, an ancient healing system. I'm Debbie Dashinger. Welcome to the show. I am a media visibility expert. This show, Dare to Dream, won the Coalition for Visionary Resources Award for Best Radio Show and Podcast. It is listed in Welp Magazine as one of the top 10 best podcasts of the year, and it's listed as a top self-improvement show in Apple Podcasts also nominated for Two People's Choice Podcast Awards and for a Webby Award. And I thank all of you for your contribution to that. This show is sponsored by Dr. Dane here at Access Consciousness. They do energy work out into the world. If you'd like to become a facilitator or take one of their classes, go to Dr. Dane here, H-E-E-R.com or accessconsciousness.com. I teach spiritual messengers, coaches, entrepreneurs, and speakers how to write a highly engaging book. I am a book coach. I've got a company that also takes books to a guaranteed international best-selling status. And the third leg of what I do is teach spiritual messengers how to be interviewed on radio and podcast and get massive results. I've got a free gift for you. If you'd like to learn how to be visible at this very auspicious time when you came here to be visible, go to Dashinger dot com slash gift. There you will find templates. So you can actually figure out specifically what your message is and how to articulate it. Plus videos, how to do all the things I just mentioned. So you can be a visible visionary. Go to Debbie Dashinger, D-E-B-B-I-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com slash gift. My guest is Fran Bailey, whose passion is the Shiva method seeking harmony in energy, let me find this word, energy voice and action. This process resets your system and offers clarity, distinction, and balance. As a seasoned practitioner with 20 years of experience, Bailey has been widely recognized for her ability to facilitate healing and transformation through energy medicine and is widely considered a thought leader in the field. Fran's extensive training in dancing combined with energy healing, studying with the renowned Rosalind Bruyere, working as an energy healer for the Alliance Institute for Integrative Medicine, developing her meditation and psychic skills with noted psychic healers. And most recently, Fran received her certification as an accredited Enneagram teacher and trainer. Fran's book, Emergence. Reveal Your Essence is available on her website and on Amazon. You can connect with Fran at Fran Bailey Healer. It's Fran, B-A-I-L-E-Y Healer.com. And she also has a free gift for you there, a free meditation gift. And we'll mention that a little later as well. And it'll be in the show notes. And with that, I welcome the amazing Fran to Dare to Dream. It's so great to have you here. There we go. Howdy. <laughs> Thanks I, for the introduction. Yes, you're welcome. I want to start with the services you offer because it's a lot, but I also understand. I have many, many friends who are healers, gifted, spiritual messengers. And what I observe is people are a soup these days, meaning mm -hmm. you studied this, you studied this, you studied this, and then your gifts get activated therein, and then something emerges that is wholly yours. And so describe that because Shiva method, Enneagram, body work, emergence sessions. Mm -hmm. What are the various offerings you do, Fran? How do they overlap? How do they complement each other? Well, the book is it's the foundation. It's the, and then we, I've got meditation. I've got uh, body work that I designed. There's um, one-on-one -on -one that I do. Uh, there's all of these things combined. The, found, the foundation comes from the book first. And then the meditation, I think, is is the audio meditation is free at the bottom of my site. 
the body work includes the meditation because the body doesn't lie. So it's always about the body. Um, mm -hmm. I think those two, I do acupuncture points with uh, the body work because I learned about energy years ago. So I want people basically to self-heal themselves. And that's the key. And so if, if I can give them tools to self-heal, then it becomes theirs, you know? So um, I think with the, the body work and meditation and then the Enneagram, which is a really good study of the personality, our, our lovely personalities that we, um, we certainly have those fixations. So I use those as a kind of an energetic, I look at both and, and what we, um, what kind of traps we fall into, like with pattern thoughts. So I look at the energy around that and how does that affect the body? How does it affect your emotions? How does it affect your spirituality? So it's an interesting mix of different things. So one-on-one -on -one classes, um, group classes, and, you know, I'll do workshops and, you know, it's good stuff. <laughs> Where are you located? Um, I'm based in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then, but I, um, I travel, so I have South Carolina, can do a lot of Zooming there, and I'm in South Carolina right now, so it's really Cincinnati and South Carolina. Yeah, because I was curious, as you were saying that, can you, does someone have to work with you in person, or can you suss out, or can you even, I'm not asking you to do it, but can you even read my body right now or anything else if you're also psychic and get a ton of information? Yes. Wow. Is that overwhelming? Yeah. <laughs> because I would think to be able to perceive that much all the time. Well, it's interesting. You know, I don't, if I'm asked, I will proceed. Mm. It's never a point of if you don't want it, I never impose because yeah. that's really, really, really important as a healer. Number one, <laughs> number two, um, if they, they want a response, then I'll look. If not, then I will pull back. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a give and take and it's a shared um, experience. So what I see, interesting, somebody I was working with, I work with football players as a dancer, okay, many, many, many years. And then this young football player uh, wanted a session and he's like really young. And he, I said, we did a Zoom and I said, we're going to do that first and then I'm going to see you in person. So he, <laughs> he said, you know, I close my eyes a lot to, to look at the, at the patient or person. And, um, he said, how do, how do you do that? How do you see that? And it's the kind of thing where it's like my intuition, my ability to pull all those together is one in one reading and one look, it just comes really, really fast. And so I said, okay, so I'm, your body is perfect. We live in this beautiful system, but your fifth chakra is congested. congested. And I said, I know you have a question for me. You know, it was simple, very simple. So it's that kind of communication where I'm actually um, communicating with your body, your body cues where, where the, the energy is, is blocked. So it's a, a fascinating. It, it was fun. Yeah, I, I love that you can do that. I, I just started shaman school. And I, I have other gifts like clairsentience. Um, ah. I've never been able to do what you do, but I'm really hoping because it's a six month program and it's pretty serious with wow. lots of homework, but I'm in, I'm, I'm yeah. there, I'm down for it. And I really, my greatest prayer is that I have my own inherent gifts and probably other past lifetime gifts open like yours. Because I think that's so beautiful that you can so easily and gracefully perceive so much in another human. What a great service. It, it, it is a great service, but I, I think that um, what is most important, and actually before we, we spoke, you know, the, the intuition and the clairvoyance that all of it we, we have, this time period is so incredible. I think this, we're 
getting flooded with the the information about tapping into this mm. part of our brain. And I think that it takes studying, but it also is trusting, really trusting your instinct and trusting your ability. And then that it becomes um, like secondhand, but of course with practice and practice and practice. Yeah. But it's letting go, it's getting out of the ego. I mean, it's not me. It's like a, a different, a different experience. It's the multi-dimensional me. That's beautiful. Yeah. Like a being a vessel. Yeah, a vessel. So, so I'm curious about the Shiva method. I love the name, the Shiva method. And it says it utilizes ancient systems, healing systems dating back centuries. And mm -hmm. then it helps just what you were just saying, it helps solidify this intuitive body work. Can you break that down and explain more about the Shiva method? Well, it's, um, first of all, the name was channeled to me hmm. 2002, it's a long time ago. So seeking harmony and energy voice and action. It was just like, okay, well, I'll put that down. <laughs> so I was given that name and then and the meaning behind the name I had to find that out with all the years of training right so um with the meditation and the tapping into my intuition and studying energy and all those things and the body work combined so that the method would developed um really seriously during COVID where I really got the message okay this is what it is you sit in the studio, you don't have a partner, you can't see anybody, and you get this down. So impacting, so basically what happens, I really pulled the energy in to decide and finish the method itself through that time period. And that's when I created, um, you know, the body work to go with the meditation to, because the body is so important. Anyway, that's so what, what kind of um, ancient healing systems came through you specifically? Well, um, so the body work and how I run energy evidently through an, another MD. Um, she's a um, she trained with me as an energy healer, but she also um, said that what I'm doing is really, really old system of pressure points. And I didn't know that, but I did know that. I don't know how to explain it, but you know, it was one of those, okay, I'm, it's coming in, this information is coming in for here, here, and here, and studying acupressure points, other people's acupressure points, but then it just continued to develop into, oh, this goes with this because that, and this goes with this because of that. We're going to pull in that old energy, but we're going to update it. It's like a, you know, so we keep updating it for this time period. Mm. And so are, that's, are yeah. you running energy right now? Because I'm feeling a really powerful transmission just speaking to you. Yeah. Yeah. When I did that. Yeah. I've been feeling it for a little bit, but. Um, okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. So. What it, what it does is it calls on maybe your past experience, your ancestors or your um, other lifetimes so that we like a recall. So we're remembering what it was like. There you go. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, it's like we have to live in these multi-dimensional spaces because it's here mm. and why not utilize it and why not find out ways to tap in it and not fear it because we can utilize it for a positive experience and then of course the main thing is love mm. it's always going to come back to the heart always so the chakra systems are you know three below Three above, always going to come back to the heart. So that's um, part of the process as well, loving yourself. Hmm. Well, let's dive into that a little bit. So chakras, 
Amazing. Yeah. And yeah. I know you said that the key to our stability and security is exploring the root chakra, mm -hmm. that energy. Can you talk about how we can explore the root chakra and just unpack it a little bit, what its healing possibilities are? Okay. So first of all, we're the first, there, there's seven chakras. I'm sure everybody knows that. Um, and they are the psychic centers. Um, and they run in the center of the body. And they're, the, the system that I use comes from Yogananda. Um, and, you know, that energy, that old Indian energy. So that's the Hindu kind of concept. So if you think of the centers as psychic centers, and you start with the first, the first is at the base of the spine. It is the most dense energy. It's the color red. And um, it's, it's earth element. So if you can imagine a cord from the center of the earth coming up and connecting to the first chakra, including your reproductive organs, male or female, and left and right sciatic, you know, that even saying that sort of, oh, well, there it is, mm -hmm. you know? So the first chakra is also about survival and fear. So we want to, we want to say hello to that foundation like a plate. It's like a plate that we sit on. You know, it's that foundation keeps us strong. So moving away from fear, so we're in safety mode. Does that make sense? It makes sense. And uh, for do we need to? Uh, is it our job then to do what you just said? Do the cord? You know, maybe visualize the red see the sciatic, see the plate and yeah. envision the cord into the earth and up to us. And, and then what about the fear? Like, how can we work with that for healing? So for instance, with this system, we create, or you create actually a tool, a tool to put the energy that's not yours onto the tool you've created. And then you move that tool past the edge of your aura. And of course, the edge of your aura is the width of your arms, the end of your fingertips. It's to the sides of you, above you, below you, in front and in back. So that energy is all you. That's your auric field. And this is the system, chakra system. So when I say I want you to release any fear, contracts, karma, attachments that your first chakra is holding, place it on the tools you've created and move it past the edge of your aura. Mm. What's the difference between a toric field and an auric field? A toric and auric? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> I don't know a toric. Ah, yeah. It's in a lot of or diagrams and you see it often this you know, invisible thing that's around us, but it seems to go in so many directions. Um, oh, so, like say geometry kind of thing? Maybe? Possibly, but yeah. but it's it's akin to what you're talking about. And uh, I would be curious. Well, there, there are layers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have seven chakras and you have seven layers. The first layer is the etheric, which is the shape of the body. And then you go out the second is to the second layer, the third is to the third, fourth, fifth, and seventh. So the seventh is the, you're the yoke, and the seventh is the shell. And you own all that energy around you. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you for the already transmission on behalf <laughs> of all of us watching yeah. and listening. And I want, and for those sensitives out there, Fran has been so kind to offer us an experience. So it is really important if you would like to participate, do not be driving. If you are, shut this off and then proceed later. Or if you're listening to a replay, skip ahead and go back and do her offering later. And then if you are not driving and not operating machinery, then please you know, receive. This is an amazing opportunity to receive from, from a gifted energy healer, a gift to all of us. And, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving because as we get better, as oh. we heal, 
We are just the pebble, right, in the water, and we are helping the whole planet and all of humanity to change its vibration. So if you are also here to be of service, know that, you know, receiving this is also a service. Yeah. So um, I think the, the what I want you to think about before we start is that this um, chaotic energy that we are all experience, experiencing, um, this is a way to kind of clear it. And it's kind of like a, it just comes in waves every day, every other day for all of us. You just, you know, it's like suddenly it's there. So that can affect us emotionally, spiritually, physically, right? Psychologically. So the body doesn't lie. So I really kind of channeled this energy today, or I have been for 12 years, but um, this is being updated. So I'm going to clear, I'm going to ask you to clear the organs, your organs, because that gets trapped, that energy gets trapped. So it's, it's, it's the same process as the chakras. So everything has a chakra system, everything, our fingertips, our skin, our organs, our, you know, our nervous system. So I'm going to try to do the organs and the nervous systems. So this is pretty powerful. So I want you to stay grounded. So we're going to stay grounded to the center of the earth. So that root chakra is really, really important. Bring that grounding cord up to your first chakra and stay balanced you know, male or female ground. So, um, so we're, the, the first chakra is red. So I'm going to say these colors. The second chakra is pubic bone to belly button is orange. The third chakra is belly button to diaphragm is yellow. So these are frequencies. The fourth chakra at the heart is green. The fifth chakra is a turquoise blue the sixth is the uh, purple third eye and the seventh is uh, violet so I'm going to be repeating those colors so imagine your chakra system is in line you're ready to kind of do this clearing stay grounded I'm going to tell you to do that through this series okay mm -hmm. great so if you want to close your eyes, you can, um, that's fine. So we're going to focus now, just say hello to your first chakra and the grounding cord so that you're really present. And I want you to scan your body now, just kind of look at it, scan through it from head to toe and just give yourself permission to release, okay? So you're going to um, focus on, we're going to do the liver first. Liver is on your right side. So I'm going to tell you where they are. It's on your right side. And I'm going to say red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. So we're balancing the liver energy. That's all we're doing and releasing what needs to be released. Mm. We're going to go into the lungs. The lungs are inside the ribs towards the back. And we're going to do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Take a deep breath. We're simply balancing the organs. Letting go. Nice. We're gonna move into the kidneys, source of life. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Good, very good. So above the kidneys are adrenals and I want you to create a little string and attach it to your sacrum. So this is a for acute stress. We wanna stay grounded, there you go, red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Nice. Take a deep breath. We're 
we're going to go into the diaphragm where we breathe up and down and wide, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Nice. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. I, I spaced out a little bit on that last one. I got so, so relaxed. I don't even know what organ you said, to be honest. <laughs> okay. But I just went with the colors. I thought, okay. That's, color. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. We're going to go into the heart. Love. Feeling that love spreading part of you, every cell. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Spleen to the left under the rib. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Take a deep breath and just let that energy go. Just feel the vitality increasing. Just, yes, nice. Into those cells. Into the brain. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Nice. Stay with it. Moving to the stomach. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Feel that vitality, but also feel that um, sort of relaxation of, wow, that's, that's like WD-40 kind of. <laughs> so the pancreas is behind the stomach. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Of course, it's all about what we digest, yes? What we digest. Large intestine. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Check out your grounding cord. Make sure that grounding cord is there. Bring it up to your, bring it up to your belly button. Make sure that it's about three inches in diameter. Saying hello to Mother Earth. Good. Moving on to uh, your reproductive organs. Even if you don't have them, the energy is there. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Nice. Epidermis, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Feel the flow of the energy in the spine. We're gonna go into the bones, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet, into that bone marrow, nice. Cells. Breathing in that love, going into the cells. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Tendons, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Muscles, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Fascia, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, violet. Beautiful, stay with it. Stay with it. Feel the flow of energy inside your body. Trusting the body intelligence as it gives you messages. Beautiful, okay. So, just scan your body from head to toe, releasing any excess energy. If I forgot an organ, I probably did. I don't know, but um, go ahead and scan your energy all the way down through your body and releasing any excess energy. Let it go down the grounding cord. Good. And I want you to release that grounding cord and create a space for a new one. 
So you're regenerating the energy. So where you sit, make it about three inches in diameter, bring a fresh new grounding cord up to your first chakra at the base of the spine, male or female ground. Bring it up to the belly button, good. Fill your legs with fresh new earth energy and your first and second chakras to the belly button. And from well above the crown, I want you to bring gold cosmic energy. Let it come into the top of the head and let it come into the center of the body, filling the body, upper body, slowly, head, neck, chest, stomach, belly button. Feel the mixture of gold and cosmic energy. Include your arms and hands. Take a deep breath. Feel where you sit. Feel the shifts and changes in your body. Take a deep breath. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that is good stuff right there. Huh? Yeah. Wow. To do that every day, like when you start your day, or even if you can't get in, when you start your day sometime during the day. It's very is powerful. Powerful medicine. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. Amazing how fast yeah. you got me. Like, and you, you were so good that you knew even when I was, I wasn't going out. I was present, but I was. Yeah. Falling. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't even know. I was very much in a trance. Uh, it was really deep. Wow. So I want you to tell us about this free gift. Is it the same kind of thing? Is it a different meditation? It, it, it's a chakra clearing. And it's, you know, it's really great to have, you know, use every day. So, you, you know, whether you're clearing the chakras of the organs, it was just channeled to me today that that's what needed to be done. And it was just like, okay, <laughs> rock and roll. Uh, anyway, but the free gift is... Um, you know, you can do it every day. It's, it's like 15 minutes or something. And mm -hmm. it's just clearing all the centers, staying ground and staying present, feeling the, the love energy uh, throughout your body and aura. Mm -hmm. All right. So folks who are interested, I hope you all are. <laughs> it's at Fran Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y healer.com. It's a free meditation, chakra clearing, and also a chakra chart, chakra sheet. Yes. So yeah. very nice gift. Yeah. Um, so clearly, if you can do this remotely, and we know this anyway, as metaphysicians, that everything is energy. Mm -hmm. And so if every, everything is energy, how can we work with energy to optimize it? So first of all, it's, it's important to understand your own energy. Hmm. So, you know, you can work with... Um, different tools and different things, but the idea is that you're finding yours and you're finding where the loopholes are or what, mm -hmm. what you need to work on. So in, in a sense, you're, you're, you know, you're like a microscope. So you're looking and learning about your own body and your own soul and your own, where you want to go and where the resistance is. Resistance is a very big, big thing. What is it? Talk, talk about that a little bit. So, for instance, if we as humans might resist growth because of the fear of what we have to let go of. Hmm. So, if you look at the resistance and you look at the attachment to resistance, you let go of the attachment then there's space. Possibility. Possibility. Possibility and space. So you you pull your energy in and you say, okay, so I'm going to focus on less fear and see where that takes me. So I'm moving, you know, you're moving through it. So you're looking at the resistance and then there's the resistance. Oh, there it is. Let it go and boom, you're back to center to move forward. Mm, nice. So, yeah, I mean, everything is energy. 
um, the more aware we are of the energy around us and us in the middle and centered, the more we are aware of what's coming at us. So you're I, not you're not jumping out and getting it and pulling it back in. You're observing. You're observing while you're centered. Hmm. So okay, that makes sense. So there's a lot of awareness involved. Yes. Yeah. And not efforting actually, if you're going to stay in awareness. Right. So it's in a perfect day. You know, we we'd love to do that all the time, but that life doesn't work that way sometimes when we have this chaotic things that come our way on our path but at some point if you come back and look at that chaos what is it creating what is it you know then maybe you can view it from another from a bird's eye view hmm. rather than the should the have to the ought do you maintain a sense of wonderment even as you experience the mystery of life and its challenges and if so how do you do that um every experience is sacred mm. every experience even good bad or the ugly if we can if we can get above it and look at it from another viewpoint mm. then it becomes something different You know, if you if you um, have a bad relationship with a friend or something like that, or you know that friend has crossed you, or you, then you look and say, well, maybe that was for a reason. Thank you for le letting me see that. You know, um, so I, yeah, everything sacred. It's like it's like the idea that. Um... The universe is for you, conspiring for you. Everything that shows up is for you. Yeah. It yeah. helps you, even if it's uncomfortable, and it sometimes is, but it yeah. pushes you forward on the path. Yes, yes. And in those uncomfortable times, those, um, you know, someone passing or, you know, you, you sit with it, you sit with the grief mm. and you sit with the sorrow and you, you welcome it because it will open up your heart in the end. Wow. That's love. Like point of view. Yeah. So I don't know if you have your book and with you and you can show us because I've seen it and it's quite beautiful. Uh, so emergence reveal your essence. Yeah. I did want to say, first of all, I know it won an award medal in this year's Global Book Awards. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, That's there it awesome. is. Awesome. Yeah. And tell us about the book and why people are reading it. Um, well, the book is is basically what I just said. It's it's about energy. It's about finding your energy. It's about learning about the chakra system, what each chakra, what purpose each chakra has, how to ground, how to look at your own stuff without fear <laughs> you know um rest and exploration creation and love you know it's it's full of quotes it's full of einstein stuff it's um it's it's an experience so so okay is there a transmission in the book too yes i love that because yeah. you know i'm so sensitive people some people are doing that. Not a, not everybody knows this, but some people like yourself are doing it. And it's a wholly different reading experience because if you're sensitive and you pick up, yes, there's the beautiful material and the pictures and everything that you would have read the book for anyway, but my God, what an, a huge bonus that pouring off the words in the pages is actually something energetically shifting you as you just look at the page. Right. So, so that's how I wrote it. I mean, it's like, okay, if they can't feel this. The first exercise is to hold the book in your hands, mm. run your own energy in it, and then just open a page. Mm. So, cool. you know, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. 
And that's every time I would try to write it and push the words and a piece of art would come or a poem would come or a color would come because it's full of all the chakra colors. Like, you know, it's all about letting go, let go of any guilt or shame that stops you from being your most creative self as you move up to the third chakra and empower your creative ideas. So it's each page is about letting go. You've got one chakra and then you let go of that and then you let go of that. So it's one to seven. And it's a, um, the first page is about the eclipse. Remember when we were in, the, when the, in 2019, I guess it was, 18, 19. Anyway, we all experienced that together at one, because it was here. That's the first page of why I wrote it. Because it's, I want you to experience the energy. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Okay, very cool. So it's so, on Amazon. It's called Emergence. So for folks who are interested in that, did you want to say something else about the book? Just enjoy because mm -hmm. it's for you. It's for you. It's sacred. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. So I know you're a medical intuitive, Fran, which I fa also fascinates me. What is it like? And what specifically can you see and facilitate for people? Um, depending on, on what they need, depending on what the, the client needs. Um, you know, I've worked with cancer patients and heart patients and um, athletes and all kinds of, you know, emotional, emotionally disruptive patients who are going through a divorce, going through, um, you know, some major changes in their life. So the medical intuitive, I can see, for instance, there might be, your sinuses might be full, right? Or um, if there's an injury, I can see an injury. Um, if there's an imbalance in the brain, it might not necessarily be a physical balance, but it might be an ADD <laughs> kind of, I'll see the energy moving too fast. Mm, that's so interesting. Wow. So have you always been like this? Have, is this been a journey of unfoldment for you or were you born like this? Tell me about oh, how this got activated. Well, I always had the, I knew it. Well, I didn't know, but I saw things as a child growing up and I grew up as um, my background was a Christian scientist. So I never didn't do a lot of medicine. So me my metaphysical background was very big. So um, I believed in the body healing itself. I believe that we have mind over matter. We have the power to heal. Um, but I would see things as a child. And then I remember I had an experience at 19 where I had meditation. I felt all this energy and I just wasn't ready to receive the, the gifts. Because you run away from that if you, if you have the gifts. Because you don't want to, you don't want them to find you. Because it's kind of scary. So was that Kundalini when that was happening? Are you aware? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I didn't know what it was. I just knew that I wasn't ready. So I closed my body down and then went on, but then it happened at 26 again. And then, you know, even as a child, I knew stuff, but I didn't know what it was. And then I hit in my forties and they found me. <laughs> no. <laughs> they weren't going to let you go. I didn't. There's no way out now. So I started studying, you know, I was dancing. And, you know, while I was dancing, I was running energy. That's what somebody told me. That's Dr. Steve Moyle said, you can run energy. You see it. I want you to train. I said, okay. <laughs> so that's what happened. I started tra training with Rosalind and then I worked with psychic healers 
Gloria Hampshire and John Friedlander, and they really opened up, you know, all the psychic ability just flooding, came flooding in. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, I, my, I cried a lot in the beginning because I knew that, wow, this was kind of big. So um, I kept developing the gifts and developing the gifts through the training and, and trusting my instinct and it became real. Hmm. You know, so I, um, I actually have met Rosalind Bruyere. I had a friend who was older than I and she was so into her. I, I, she would go to her trainings and I would always hear about it. And then Roslyn, cause I live in Los Angeles right? where Roslyn is and Roslyn, I believe she still does Easter services. And this Amazing. friend Lana of mine would take me, I mean, I just, it's so kind of adorable cause I was so young and like, yeah. um, I'm so different now in my perception and hunger for all this, um, comfort with it all. Uh, but I loved it. I remember we would go to uh, those services. And I remember how statuesque she was. She's incredible. Her workshops are, I mean, she's, you know, she's great. So I definitely, she's um, very, very powerful. Mm. And um, a fabulous teacher, healer. Um, I, she's a true gift. So um, yeah, for sure. She's awesome. I haven't contacted her. I should do that. Yeah, because now her name is out on the radio. So <laughs> you have to well, let her know. Like, <laughs> that is, that's really amazing that you did. Well, first of all, your commitment. I commend you for that. That once the path opened for you, that you were so committed to continuing to follow it and find the right people to work with. And obviously these were quite the right people because they opened all of these activation centers for you so you can be who you are right now. Do you feel like you've changed very much? Of course, I know the answer, but I'd love to hear from you because that's a, that's a huge journey to go from mm -hmm. Christian scientists to having this Kundalini or however you describe it experience crying because I'm not quite ready and then saying, okay, <laughs> I keep getting tapped. What if I surrendered to this? And then like truly surrendering, even through your crying mm -hmm. to this mm -hmm. experience of just shedding old skin and becoming who you really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what have the changes been for you? Well, I think, um, I think understanding Oh, I had cancer, mm. stage four. And I think it really sort of clicked in when um, I understood um, how I could heal myself. So, and understand the correlation. My father had died a year before that or six months. The body doesn't lie. You have emotions. Things just kind of, you know, anyway. Um, I worked with a medical doctor and she did some things and I would start doing this meditation and clearing the energy and clearing the energy and clearing the energy and, um, get rid of shame and guilt and just bring in that love and support and the balance and understanding that the body is perfect mm -hmm. if we just trust it. And so, you know, releasing the, the, cells the cancer cells the energy and it was good but the idea of the correlation of the emotions and what happens with the body stress what happens with the body um so i was really hell-bent on excuse my expression on making doing this self-healing experience so that mm. other people could experience it so how was i going to do that you know how was i going to do that write a book and so um, anyway, the, the, your question was again, <laughs> just your, the arc of your journey, really your personal Shiro journey, if you will, where you started. And when you were first tapped for this, 
and resisted to fully surrendering to it and to who you are now? How have you changed? I have to keep laughing because, you know, you just, you have to enjoy life at the same time. Um, trust that the information will come when it's ready to come. And that uh, whoever crosses my path, I, if they wish a healing, I will do that. So, but I want to enjoy life as well. So it becomes part of both and. Can we live and heal? Can we heal and live? You know, can we, can we dance and heal? Can we enjoy life and heal? Can we do those things? So I, there is this understanding of the purpose and the dedication to the purpose. It doesn't take over my life, but it's part of my life is who I am. Mm -hmm. So, so folks who want to work with you, Fran, what, what do they do? Um, do you have group situations, online situations, in person, remote? Talk about that. Yeah. So I have um one-on-one, -on -one, so they can we can do a Zoom. Um, I have group classes usually in Zoom. I do in person. What usually happens, what really works is there's I always work with threes. So if someone has three sessions with me, it's usually like, okay, they get it. They get what they need to get and they can go. So that's how fast it is. It's very, very quick, very, very quick. If you're ready, you know, um, and most people, when they call us, say, yep, let's do this. Let's just get this done. And it's, it's efficient. That's what I would call this work is very, very efficient. So you get through the muck to get to where you want to be. So there's one-on-one -on -one groups. There's the videos. The body work is a video. That's, that's to open up the chakras, but it's actually physical work with a roller. And I'm actually pushing on giving you acupressure points, telling you where this is lung, this is releasing grief. So um that's on that video the body work there is um i just finished these <laughs> talking about the the energy shifting and changing this summer i did um this is the first chakra this is from the book um first chakra to feel safe safety survival first and foremost to create a safe space where you can rest and focus so that's the color of the book, but then I've been doing mandalas oh. and I channeled the colors. And so that's one. So this is really powerful because they're, I didn't know I was going to draw. <laughs> I, don't oh, draw I dance. Yeah, but you're creative. Yeah, this is just coming through you. I have a, I love this because it sounds like the more you do and give birth to, the more the universe is saying yes and bringing through you. Surprise or no surprise, but I, I think you're rather, um, you know, at the first quarter, and you have a lot more flowing through. <laughs> so, I think it's beautiful. You're here for great purpose, right? You're here at the right time, right person, and I all of that. So. But so what this does is like, like that efficiency again. So you're you're healing with efficiency. So this is the second. So these are all really they're, they're palpable. And my dog, I had a dog that laid on these. He could not stop laying on them. And you know, they don't see color. So I went, hmm. I think this is working. <laughs> anyway, that's just another. So there's that. That's a kit. And, you know, if you were just starting, I would say download the meditation. Um, get the book, you know, do a session with me if you wish. Um, 
kind of to get started and then maybe do one session and then come back, you know, or that kind of thing. Sometimes absolutely because more is always revealed. I mean, that's how it works, you know, and and sometimes just to have an experience of is so informative. And you know, yeah, I'm in. This is working, this is powerful. I would be silly. And I I love the idea, you know, we invest in ourselves in so many ways. And this is actually the most important way. I mean, there's mm -hmm. other things too, but I think a balance of where we invest in ourselves and our emotional, physical, relational life health is huge how we show up. And so Fran, this is Dare to Dream. What are you next, Dare to Dream? What are your future dreams and goals? For me? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, just, just putting this work out there, I think, to share and... Um, for those to expand, for to know that each of us are trying really hard and then if you can use these tools to um, provide balance, provide love, provide um, knowing your own energy. That's great. Mm. That's great. Thank you so much, so much, Fran Bailey, for coming on the show. You can find her at franbaileyhealer.com. And thank you for gifting us with that beautiful, beautiful meditation. A clearing, really, it was. Yeah. Stay grounded. <laughs> and I end today's show with this quote from Rosalind Bruyere. It has taken thousands of years, but within this century, both scientists and spiritual seekers alike have once again begun to view the laws of nature and the laws of God as reflections of the same truth. Subscribe to this show, your number one transformation conversation, Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. If you like this and you know someone who would enjoy it, send it to your friend or family and definitely subscribe, comment, and like. Next week on the show, I'm featuring the amazing Chandra Heyer, who is of Cherokee Indian heritage, a medicine woman, multidimensional energy healer, and sound therapist. She's a somatic trauma-informed integration practitioner, ascension guide, and mentor to others. She is the founder and creator of Tribu Spirit and Aurora Quartz Grails. Thank you so much for joining us today on Dare to Dream. Always a pleasure. Create all your dreams and use this, listen to this over and over and get Fran's free gift so you can really have a beautiful ritual every day to start your place in this world in the best possible space. Dare to Dream. <laughs>